how do you think how do you think the job market today uh like reacts to folks who don't have uh a traditional degree and yeah. do you think that these these types of online learning or al al alternative ways of of education are a good sort of substitute for folks without that traditional degree Absolutely. 100%. They're totally valid. What I really enjoy seeing is that is the best companies are transitioning to really skills-based hiring, right? Kind of breaking yeah. what they call the, the paper ceiling, so to speak. I had two degrees from top universities, and I still couldn't land the role of my dreams. Like I mentioned, it was um, I took a course on edX, on uh, learning ROS, which is a robot operating system, something I learned in school, but I never got to deliver a hands-on project doing. So I did that. And then I took university's AI product manager course to really blend that, not just my technical skills, but how I think about that and influence that from a product manager lens. And it was after that, that I had the projects in my portfolio that showed my demonstrated learning. That's the different thing. What I want to call out is it's not as easy as, I don't mean this to say it's easy. It's like, you just get a certification and that will open a door for you. Anyone can watch a bunch of videos and take notes and things like that. It's really about demonstrating what you can do, what you would do with that knowledge. That's the game changer. Um, you don't need a license to be a computer science practitioner. Like That's one of the scary and exciting things about this field. You can learn Python or Java or whatever language online. It's what you build, what you create, what you actually do with those skills that employers are excited and interested in. They don't. I think what you get from some of those more... Um, traditional educational backgrounds is a lot of debt and a huge network. And those things can hold you back and propel you forward in different ways. But uh, I think those things are being mirrored online and in communities where you can build that network. But you have to be a bit more proactive about pursuing, which is what I see from people who use those traditional methods. They're fighters, they're scrappy, they're innovative, and they're going to do what it takes to get with it to succeed. So I highly encourage pursuing these things as an alternative means to get where you want to get.